I'm Vin. I'm sorry. So this is something we don't usually do, but we did a fundraiser called a Rockathon where people could just donate $25 and the $25 would get them a quick song reaction while we were on live. So we've broken up all of that Rockathon. It literally landed being like 15 hours um, and we didn't even finish all of them. We're gonna come back and do some more. We did like 85 songs or something like that. So they're gonna be broken up and you'll see us progressively getting more tired, but um, this is one of the songs. So here we go. There you are. Periphery.
one. Very much appreciate it. This is the shit I want to get. Okay, so that song, that song was was a little bit long, but it had enough changes to where mm. it was like, you know, it was decent. And there were some really, really good highlights in the song. Some people in the comment section were saying that they were, um, like too like technically produced, yeah. like it was sounded like it was made on a overproduced and sounded made on a laptop and stuff. Yeah, which which of course when we talked to Misha from Periphery, which is one of the masterminds of the band, I mean he basically he basically said that. But I, I I'm not necessarily certain that that's uh, necessarily a bad thing. I don't understand what the difference is between and you know and this might just be my own plain ignorance. I just don't see the difference between being produced in a laptop and being produced in a studio like what's the difference other than you know thousands of dollars <laughs> no i mean what do you mean because if it's he's, produced they're in a still laptop, playing they're still playing all their instruments no yeah he still plays his guitar you just pl you plug it into your amp and you put it in garage yeah band. but there's there's instruments and sounds that they add in by sound it's not somebody playing it well no i mean there's synth like the synth parts were obvious, but you were, you're going to get that in a studio too. 
It's not like the drums. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought that they do some of it on the computer. And... No, like he puts his guitar part in the computer. He, the guy does his drum parts, and you know they're all doing their parts. Oh, oh, okay. You know, so I don't really, you know, I don't know. That just seems to be to be like um, metal pure purists type things. I mean, I, you know. I, <sighs> I don't. I'm not necessarily certain the song needed to be 16 minutes long, <laughs> um, but you know there were parts of it that were kind of like an oasis, kind of like yeah. where I'm like, yo, I really like that part. So to me, it's gonna get a. S I can't give it a seven, man. That's an 8.4. Oh. I'm gonna give it an 8.4. I can't give it a seven. Can't give it a I seven. I went with a 9.3. Uh, it's the people didn't like the synth sound. I mean. See, I'm a big fan of synth, though. I like I like synth, so I'm a fan of that type of sound. So, Blake, if you need to go to bed, bro, go to bed. It's all good. Yeah. I mean, shoot, sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. Tap out and go to bed. I'm 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 gonna continue no matter what. But you know, you guys need to go to bed. Go to bed. Good night. Okay. So there you go. That was the uh, that was that review. If you want to see any more of these, you can see the entire thing. Just look up Rockathon in our videos, and you'll be able to see all the different breakups and it has all the other interesting stuff in there. So thanks for uh, rocking with us. Been out. Sorry out. Gone.